Okay. Uh, why I love PGR boss design? Uh, welcome to this video, I guess. That is record. Um, that is being recorded over another video that I recorded, but. Fuck it, let's go. So, there's some things in, in boss design that I really like and I'm sure a lot of other people also like. Depth in moveset uh, matters a lot for me, in terms of, you know, uh, it just being fun, the boss just being fun. Uh, moveset having depth and not getting stale or rigid is very important to me. Especially when it comes to like calling a boss A tier or S tier, right? Uh, what gives a moveset depth? The usual answers are correct. They're mix-ups, uh, combo extensions, positional checks, or you know, attacks that uh, shape the behavior of the boss depending on your positioning or your dis distance from the boss and attack chains and stuff like that are like tough to avoid attacks the reason i love pgr boss design is that we have this thing called a uh, combo chain right combo chaining is when a boss has like a forehead combo which we call combo A and then the boss also has combo B that is like five hits these two combos have like nothing to do with each other and normally after the fourth hit of combo A the combo would end and the boss would enter a recovery animation state which is when the boss cannot perform any action and stays still so that you can hit him or you know take a break or something Combo chaining is when, after combo A ends, the boss does not enter a state of recovery and instead immediately do does combo B, which essentially is a skipping a recovery state for the combo to chain them and connect them and make a new combo which we call combo C that is 9 hits in total. <coughs> now. This isn't something that uh, is very common, in, in fact I've never seen it in any other game other than two bosses in FromSoft and a few PGR bosses. Uh, bosses in FromSoft that can do this I believe are Millennia Phase 2 and Mesmer Phase 2. I don't remember any other boss being able to chain uh, combos like that. For Mesmer, the way he does it is with the snake transformations. Uh, snake transformations can cancel animation recovery states so that immediately, immediately after finishing one combo, he can enter a snake form to do a snake combo, which can then lead to other combos as well. And for Millennial Phase 2, is her dashing, like her sidestepping, can uh, cancel animation recovery states. And also her kick. <clears throat> so yeah, if if you play from soft games, then you know what I'm talking about when it comes to chaining actions. Uh, in PGR we have that, but it's a little bit different. Uh, in PGR, basically we have a combo opener, and everything after combo opener in in a good PGR boss design is random. Basically. The boss does the combo opener and everything after that depends on the AI of the boss on which attack to do. Some of them depend <coughs> on your distance, some of them depend on whether you're attacking the boss in, in between the combos or not, and sometimes just uh, RNG. Uh, this we call attack chain instead of combo chaining which is more complex because when it comes to attack chaining you have to make every single attack animation work in a way that can be chained together like uh, right like for example you can have an animation that uh, doesn't 
for example you have attack A and attack B. Attack B needs to have an animation that can smoothly transition from uh, attack A to B, right? Like these two animations, the ending animation of attack A and the uh, starting animation for attack B need to connect together. So you need to have every single attack animation, or at least most of them, work this way, which is very extensive animation design that rightfully so companies usually don't go for that <clears throat> and another thing is that you have to give the AI absolute freedom which is also not something companies you should do because uh, that can lead to fuck ups and don't get me wrong, it does in PGR, it happens with some bosses sometimes, but it's polished enough to an acceptable level, but it doesn't bother me, but it does happen, and it's just an unfortunate side effect of this sort of design. Uh, now, I, I yapped a lot. What I wanted to say is that attack chaining leads to combo chaining uh combo chaining that is rng leads to having both uh mix-ups and combo extensions in a way and also positional attacks since some of the attacks are for long range or close range so the sort of design that they have here covers all of this and is also a magnificent uh, showcase of freedom of AI that I really like like the only other boss I've seen in my life and I haven't even fought that boss that seemed like uh, had this sort of design baked into him is Erlang from Wukong but we're not talking about Erlang today that someone else has already done that for 20 fucking minutes I'm here to do that for 20 minutes for Trailblazer here. Now Trailblazer or Radiant Marcher in Chinese version of the game is pretty much the golden boy of PGR boss design. He's, he is the standard of boss design of PGR. This is pretty much the best boss in the game for me. Uh, now, uh, I think there's a couple of other bosses in the game right now that have a better moveset than him but he's straight up perfect like story wise presentation wise and stuff talking moveset uh, specifically though <coughs> uh, there is this sort of design has existed uh, ever since chapter 14 in the game with a boss called hero hive mother but it wasn't really cooked enough you could say it wasn't fully utilized. However, with the appearance of Trailblazer as a boss, they went all out on this sort of design and it became the golden standard of PGR boss design and uh, pretty much most bosses after Trailblazer follow this design or some of his designs. Uh, before we start, we also have uh, parable attacks in PGR. Basically, it's Clash Parry, like Hollow Knight or Final Fantasy 16, where there's like a Wulong Red Flash, and when you see the Red Flash, you do an attack uh, that if it connects with the boss, with the boss's attack at the right time, it parries the boss. <coughs> and also, uh, the boss can also parry you, and we'll see in this video. Now, this is like a uh, six minute long video, but one minute of it is corrupted uh, like pretty much void and I, I don't know why it's just dumb shit, but yeah also keep that in mind and uh, This uh, this whole video is me showing one combo starter every single time and showing you What this boss achieves with that one combo starter? Uh, in only phase one <clears throat> So we're just examining one combo in one phase of the boss the worst phase of the boss So we start with this This is the combo starter. 
the attack where he holds his hand up like this and starts shooting you. <clears throat> Look at the amount of times that he does it and the following attacks. The grab is usually a combo ender. So the combo ended here, right? Uh, I wasn't counting how many hits that was, but say I think it was seven overall. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going and see the next clip how it changes. Doing something else entirely. So like for example, uh, every single attack of this combo can be different, can be cancelled into another attack. And usually uh, this uh, dash attack, uh, this dash punch, has to do with your distance with the boss after the attack finishes. Like for example, if you still have distance from him, or you're not attacking and are being passive, he keeps continuing it. But if you attack him during it, he can parry you and do a parry will attack. Like this. And if you don't parry the parry will attack, um, it uh, has like a follow up ground explosion like this, and it can be chained into another uh, attack. So the combo is still not over yet. See, he chained it. And uh, there's another thing. Animation cancelling is something that PGR bosses can also do. And something that Trailblazer just did right here. This uh, slam attack uh, has is an, a recovery. Uh, it's an animation recovery state. But he doesn't finish the, uh, the animation recovery and instead cancels it with his next attack to keep continuing the combo uh, and you know keep chaining attacks. The, the AI decided that this time it doesn't want to end the combo with this attack and wants to do just one more attack. Look at it. Cancelled. Did the grab attack. That's a, that's a grab attack. And I died because I'm dumb. But yeah, next clip. He's doing that again. This time didn't get parried. Did something else. And went right back to that dash attack. And this dash that he did... You know, the one with the blue flames and shit. That's also another way that he can animation cancel. Uh, what When he does that, he cancels the animation and recovery, the animation recovery state. Goes back to a, a state that is similar to neutral, but is not neutral. In order to just uh, chain more attacks. See, that's a completely different combo path now. It's not at all similar. Also, about dash attack. <clears throat> uh, I don't have a clip of him doing it in this video, but... The dash attack is actually a feint. Uh, I suppose you, you know what feint is, right? Uh, a boss feinting their attack. The animation of... This animation... You see how uh, he like pulls his hand backwards uh, a second time? Like, let's look at it again. He does it twice. That same animation, if he doesn't do it a second time, instead of doing the dash attack, he will do the jump uh, slam attack. And if you try to jump, uh, dodge that with the dash attack timing, uh, you get stunned into an attack that on higher difficulties one shots you. So that's also pretty cool and can be, I think can be counted as a mix up, but not sure. It's a very cool feint, feint though. That's also a very rare design uh, choice that 
You usually don't see in games. <clears throat> that that's the slam I was talking about. Another grab attack cancel. So that was the end of that combo. It was a different path. He chained more for longer. Back to that follow up again. He he loves that follow up a lot. He's very biased in terms of doing that. Number of how many times he does the dash is also random. Animation cancel did this follow up instead. And animation cancel is not a full neutral state. So the combo hasn't ended there because that slam that he does cannot be done from neutral. That's a follow up. It's only a follow up to attacks. It's only an attack that can be chained. It's not a neutral attack. It cannot be a combo opener. So the dash doesn't reset him into uh, neutral. It's just there for him to cancel his recovery state animation. Recovery animation state. Therefore, the combo still hasn't ended. Grab again. This time the combo was pretty short, right? Because the boss decides when the combo ends. It's absolute AI freedom. Look at that. He can just do the grab whenever he wants. Very short combo that time. Back to this. Like I said, he loves doing this. I don't know why he loves this attack. A lot. Yeah, that's a follow-up to that we haven't seen. Yeah, we haven't seen this. That's a new combo. Now, keep that combo in mind, because I'm gonna show you something cool. <clears throat> also, the combo ended there. Here, it's showing that as long as you don't get close to the boss, that attack never ends. And it's there to waste your stamina and force you to engage in close combat with the boss. Now the reason this is important because we have uh, long range characters in the game that can quite frankly fuck over uh, close range bosses like Trailblazer unless they have a mechanic like this that forces the long range character to engage with them. So this is also a very good des design decision in the type of game that PGR is being a character action game with like 40 characters. The boss being able to ca uh, counter multiple characters like that is very cool. Also, about the grab, the last hit of the grab, uh, if you are still in front of the boss when the when he's going to do the last attack of the grab, he can extend the range like this to make sure it hits you. Now. This is something cool that I just realized, like, uh, I realized today. The grab uh, doesn't have an animation cancel state, I believe, like, it's it cannot be cancelled. But, it has two follow-ups uh, that seamlessly connect to it and chain into the grab animation. Look at his hands when the uh, grab, uh, grab attack ends. See, he pulled the blades up. When he pulls the blades up, that's an animation uh, starter. That's the animation startup for one of his attacks, which is this. So he chained that, then he chained that into that one. The combo ended. Now back to this. We're still doing this. The animation cancel there. Again, into the grab. That one again. He did that follow up again. Combo ended. 
back to this I got parried this time what's really cool about this is that he parried me in the middle of doing the animation startup for that look he was still charging and I parried him when you parry him the combo ends guaranteed always even in phase 2 in phase 2 if you parry him he, he does a second follow up that is also parryable and after that if you parry that the combo ends so parry is always a combo end in case of trailblazer now this is a part where the video gets fucked i'm gonna skip okay this is one of my favorite clips get grabbed get parried dodge the follow up now the parry gets chained the parry follow up does that same combo but now it's this version of it that is a very long combo that you have to it's better to get away from him during it and he's still not done he cancelled the animation recovery of that with the dash and went back to the opener and if you know the opener is basically has endless possibilities this is endless mixing and extending combos at random at will by the boss none of these combos are set in stone none of these attacks are set in stone in stone the boss is creating combos there is no actual combo pattern the boss is creating this on its own the AI decides I got parried again failed to parry died I think that's the end of it yep so uh, yeah I hope this was good insight into PGR boss design. There's a lot of other bosses that can do this. Not on this level, but most bosses can't do this on this level, but have this stuff. There's also a lot of quirky, uh, cool mechanics that a lot of A, a tier bosses have. Like, A tier bosses have a lot of cool mechanics. This boss is S tier, the highest top 10 of all time for me, for sure. But, uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna end it. Next time, maybe I'll talk about the Vesta. Who knows? Maybe Primal Projection. Lots of bosses that I love. Nigel. Echo. Echo is a boss that we need to talk about for sure. That's another magnificent boss. Another insanely peak boss. Uh, S-tiers in PGO are pretty OP. And I love this game. I, I love the bosses. I love the combat. It's fast, the story is amazing, the music is amazing. Um, I've been playing the music in the background this whole time. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I finally made a video with commentary. It's rough, it's shitty, but I think it gets the point across. So yeah, have a good one.